when it comes to healthcare. I want to show you several videos uh, where this is cl clearly true. In the first, uh, Congressman Weiner, a Democrat who supports single-payer system, introduces a bill to end healthcare. As you know, uh, Medicare is a single-payer system, and it's uh, government-run and as socialistic as you can get. Now, you can argue that Medicare has its problems, and I'm not denying that. But what you can't argue is that Republican congressmen are spineless and hypocritical. Why? Not a single Republican v voted to end Medicare in that proposal. They know it's too popular with seniors, and they would get crushed. So uh, it's a really good video, and I suggest you watch it as he takes them on and he double dares them. In the second, uh, Bernie Sanders takes on Orrin Hatch and exposes him as a fraud. Um, Hatch says that um, the worst healthcare bureaucrats we have are government-run healthcare bureaucrats. And Bernie says, well, look, is that right? Well, then you should go back and tell veterans of this country that we should disband the Veterans Administration, which is 100% government-run healthcare. Is that your suggestion? And Hatch says, no, well, I'm not, tell I'm not telling them that. There's some things that government can do. And then immediately he contradicts himself. He says, I don't think they're doing as well as they should, but to throw the whole private sector over, um, uh, uh, to throw over the whole private sector approach that is competitive. So we can have a bunch of bureaucrats, nameless, faceless bureaucrats get between you and your doctor isn't right. So it's okay for bureaucrats to get in between you and your doctor if you're a veteran, but it's not okay if you're an average citizen. Why do you hate veterans, Senator Hatch? He, I mean, he clearly does. Hatch says, um, quote, anybody who believes that the federal government is going to do a better job than the private health care uh, uh, competitive system uh, is wrong. So, to which I say, uh, Hatch purposely wants to give below average health care to our veterans. According to his own beliefs, it's clear that he hates veterans because he knows that federal government can't do a good job as private health insurance, but he won't give veterans this private health insurance. So he hates them. That's the only conclusion you can reach from that. So there's this other interview by Lawrence O'Donnell with uh, Congressman Culberson, and this is a really good interview. Um, you guys should watch this. Culberson says, um, quote, no one in Congress is suggesting repealing either Social Security or me Medicare. And later, Culberson says that Medicare is not so socialism. So when an O'Donnell asked him, uh, quote, if uh, Medicare is not socialism, why not just delete the over-65 part and make it available to everyone? Um, Culberson's response was, no one wants to repeal Medicare. Answer the question. That's not the question. <laughs> he just completely changed the topic. He, and he does that throughout the whole interview. He never answers the question straightforward. And all he keeps repeating is, um, you're illustrating why MSNBC viewership is in the tank because you do not allow your peop people you're interviewing to answer the question. To which I say, you, congressmen, are illustrating why Republicans lost so many elections and why they will continue to lose so many elections because you won't answer the question. Culberson says that uh, he would have voted for Medicare and when O'Donnell says, uh, you know it's completely government-run system, Culberson says, yeah, right. So he agrees. And later, Culberson says that he doesn't want government between him and his doctor, and that he's going to fight to his last breath to protect his constituents' rights with uh, their doctor without interference from this government. So there you have it, folks. Culberson hates uh, the elderly. He hates seniors. He will fight for his other constituents rights to move, remove government interference between him and his doctor. But according to his own words, he believes that seniors should suffer from the interference from the same government. So he believes that seniors don't have this rights, and he obviously from his own words hates seniors. Finally, I do want to point out the facts and the research conducted by real experts, not these idiot Republicans. Uh, Republican con congressmen. They don't know what they're talking about. The World Health Organization, which is made up of scientists, has ranked the quality of health in America versus the more infant deaths than these socialistic countries. But re Republicans don't point this out because they don't care. They're not pro-life. What they care about is that the richest uh, people from other countries come to America to get their care. They don't care more infants die here than socialist countries. L like my other video states, they're not pro-life. 